and welcome. My name is Heroin Bob and welcome to Bob Buys. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller in the state of Virginia and what that means is that I go to places like charity shops, thrift stores, and retail locations to buy stuff for hopefully really cheap to flip on sites like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay for a profit. A few videos ago I did a What Sold where I showed selling this Thomas Mangelson print um, that I had gotten at a ReStore. If you don't know what a ReStore is, it is a charity shop that benefits Habitat for Humanity that goes around and builds houses for those less fortunate. And the ReStores in my area are places that I like to go to for sourcing as one that I don't feel like a lot of resellers go to. And I do focus about 50% of my business selling breakables, fragile items, um, and hard goods of that nature. And one of the things that I pick up quite frequently are framed art prints. And I had some comments on that video to please make a video about showing how I shipped framed art with, you know, glass safely so that way the buyer receives it in good condition and the glass doesn't get broken. So that's what this video is going to be about. Now I did sell both of these prints on Poshmark in a bundle. And with Poshmark, for those of you that don't use that app, the buyer is normally the one that pays for shipping. They pay a flat rate as of time of filming this video of $7.11. And what that means is that the seller can put it in any priority packaging that is not express packaging as long as it weighs under five pounds. So it doesn't matter if it is a regional box, it doesn't matter if it's a flat rate box, it could be a board game flat rate box, it could be a large flat rate box, it could be a medium flat rate box. As long as it is priority packaging and not the priority express packaging, I can put this in there. Now, if it goes over five pounds, the seller will have to pay an additional fee for the amount it is over it. The next level is up to 10 pounds. And I believe that additional cost is like $8. So it is a steep price. So we're gonna hopefully get this under five pounds. The only difference because of the fact that I'm selling it on Poshmark is that I don't have to be uh, as careful finding a box for these prints. Because of the fact that I can use any priority packaging, I have a ton of free boxes from USPS because I do sell on Poshmark. Um, so I don't have to hunt for the perfect box for this to get the lowest cost for my buyer. Say for example, if someone were to purchase these items from me on eBay, I would have to hunt for a perfect box for this because I wouldn't be able to use some of the boxes that I'm going to use to ship this now. But the pa overall packaging the internal packaging is going to be the same. It just, I don't have to hunt for that special box because I have a whole bunch of free resources courtesy of USPS. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I normally pack these up and then I will show you what it looks like at the end. So the first thing that I do is that I lay the print down and then I use my tape measure to measure out the internal spacing. So where the glass is Everybody, if you do not know, this is Moxie. She is uh, my little helper, or in this case, my little nuisance. So as you guys can see with this one, it's 11 and a half. And then if I go this way, it is eight and a half. And the reason why that's important is because I'm actually going to cut out a piece of cardboard that's going to nest very nicely in this space to help protect the glass. And I'm going to do that twice, one for each print. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the cardboard insert in both frames, and now I'm going to wrap these frames in some white wrapping paper. Now, I wrap it up like a present. I also make sure I fold this extra tab in, so that way it's just a little bit extra in between the cardboard, the glass. So I always make sure I do the flaps inside to just add another little bit of layer. Here I use washi tape because I got a whole bunch of scotch washi tape for five cents. So this roll is five cents at Office Depot clearance. Um, but you can use whatever clear tape you want to. I just, I like it cause it's pretty. And so then I'm gonna do this one the same way. And now that both of these are wrapped in the white craft paper, I am now going to use the wide wrap small, uh, I think this is half an inch bubble wrap. 
and but I have the wide width and I'm going to wrap each one of these individually and there's Moxie again Moxie no one wants to see your butt hey there you are there's the cute face okay I started wrap I started wrapping and then realized I should show you this so unlike this piece of paper which I wrapped the standard way that you would wrap a present um, I'm going to wrap each frame diagonally. So I ripped off a piece, or I, I cut out a piece of bubble wrap that was roughly the same size as this craft paper, but instead of wrapping it this way, I'm going to actually wrap it at a diagonal. So you see I've set the frame at a diagonal. I'm going to wrap this in a diagonal. and. Again, that adds another layer of protection in the front. Again, this is the front where the glass is. So it just adds a little bit more protection in the front because it has four layers now instead of just two. So now that both of these prints are wrapped in one layer of bubble wrap diagonally, what I'm going to do is I am then going to turn this one over so that way the glass is facing each other. And then I'm going to wrap this one more time around in bubble wrap. So here it is all packed up and there is Miss Moxie again. Um, this is two modified 1095 boxes. The reason why I had to get two 1095 boxes, it was going to fit in the flat rate board game box. If I didn't also have to send a Funko Pop in this bundle as well. So that is why I had to put two modified 1095 boxes because I was able to cut them to the width in order to accommodate the Funko Pop. So, that is unfortunately putting it over five pounds. So this is now a six pound package and I have to upgrade my label to the six pound rate, which is only $3.99 additional, which goes against the, my seller earnings for this bundle. But I'm still making $30 on this bundle and I am very pleased and I'm glad that these prints are going to a new home. They're actually going to Colorado. So we're gonna have a Virginia artist in Colorado now and that makes me really happy. So I do know I did sell these two prints on Poshmark. However, the putting the cardboard in front of the glass, the wrapping it in white or brown craft paper, and then putting it in bubble wrap and making sure it's wrapped twice in bubble wrap. So for this set, it was because it was two prints together. I faced the glass together. Each individual set was wrapped once and then wrapped them both again together. So that way they weren't moving around and the glass again was facing each other. So that way it was extra protected. Everything else is the same. And then I put it in a whatever suitable size box and I ship it off that way and I have never had a problem. I don't envision having a problem here as well. So regardless if you're selling on Poshmark, eBay, or Etsy or any other platform, that's how I do it. I hope this was very helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hero. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero